Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a project pan update. It is my finished five by Cinco de Mayo. Real quick, if you're new, hi, my name is Sarah. I'd love for you to join the fam, so hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that we stay notified of when I upload. Today is April 9th, I believe. So I gotta check in somewhere around May 5th, so less than 30 days. I was supposed to get this update two weeks ago. You know, I was supposed to get it up on my channel. Well, actually I wanted to get it up on my channel last week, but that didn't happen. Um, I've just been like super busy or super tired and just filming other things and I've just been feeling inspired by makeup lately so I've actually been playing with it so I've been spending my nights like actually doing eye looks and stuff. My Instagram is linked down below so if you want to click it give me a follow. I'll greatly appreciate it if you're already not following me. Those of you who are following me, thank you so much. I actually finished uh, one product so far. Actually, I'm going to call this one done too. Okay, so I got two products done because I'm not going to repress the other product. I'm going to go ahead and call this done. It is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pressed Pores Powder. It's hard. Oh, okay. I don't know if my camera caught that. It literally just crumbled on the floor. There's literally nothing in it anymore because it just fell all over my desk. The reason I'm not going to try to repress it is because I have a lot of other pressed powders I can use. Oh my god, that's going to be a nightmare to clean up. Okay, so that's done. Yay! Alright, this next product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. I don't know what happened, but my spoolie broke. Like, look at this. Look at that. It broke. I do not know what happened, but this is all that's left. I really cannot get anything. Like, it's rolled up all the way. I cannot get anything on this. And so, I do have a mark. You can see, I basically finished it. There's not enough product left to even try to do a brow. I did buy a new brow whiz, though, and the packaging is different. Let me show you guys real quick. People were speculating. They're like, oh my god, did I get a fake? What happened? The packaging's different. The top one is the old, and the bottom one is the new. But let's see, you can see there the bottom one um, doesn't have the little A logo next to it like the top one does. And just um, font sizes and stuff changed as well. The font size is different underneath the word brow is. So it's tiny on the new one and it's it was bigger on the old one. But yeah, there's just been those cosmetic changes that are irrelevant to this. But I just thought I'd let y'all know just because people were speculating that it was fake. Next product is going to be the Wet n Wild Bear It All. I didn't pan it yet. But um, it's the lipstick that I'm wearing today. I like it, but you know, when I figured out when you start panning a lipstick, you start figuring out what like your feelings about it. How you like it, do you love it, can you like live with it, like it has flaws, but it works because you like the shade. That's kind of the pickle that I'm in. Um, I love the shade, it's absolutely beautiful. It's like the perfect nude for me, and it's like a my lips but better with a little bit of a peachy undertone, but it's just it's not long lasting like their other, um, like the other lipsticks. I have other Wet n Wild Mega Last lip colors. Um, I guess this one, this consistency is a lot more creamier, creamier, a lot more creamy than the other matte lipsticks that I have. The other ones are a lot more stiff, or not so much stiff, but they're really matte and they really stay on the lips. And this one just feels really creamy. It broke again, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm making a little bit of progress. We got something going on there. But I am, like I said, I'm finally feeling out my feelings. Finally finding out my feelings. Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Finding out my feelings on that lipstick. And I'm torn. I don't like the cons consistency because it moves around, but I adore the color. So I'm torn. All right, next product is the... Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen. Here is my first line there. So you can see it's made some progress there. Let's get you all nice and focused for the camera. So you can see there. So there's progress there. Yay. I'm getting to the point where I'm getting excited about getting stuff out of my collection. I know there's people who like to hoard makeup and that used to be me. Like I wanted everything and I wanted all the new releases and I wanted to try different things. So I wanted to be able to re rotate. Oh my god. I wanted to be able to rotate through makeup and just to have variety. But now I'm at the point where 
I'm not buying into all the consumerism and stuff um, and buying into the hype of everything. And I'm just trying to use up what I have and it's just been really exciting. Yay. And plus, like I feel better because I'm actually getting my money's worth from my makeup. So that's the point of all these project pans that I love doing. Here is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I cannot remember for the life of me if I put those marks um, on my intro or not. But if I did, you can see I am making progress. Woo woo. So I'm super excited. I am wearing this as a bronzer and I try to apply it on my cheeks as a blush, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to continue using this side. I'm really, really, really going to try to use it, but it just looks so like orange or like reddish on me. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. I hope it does. I did contour my nose a little bit. So if you can see that it's very, very warm on my nose, on my forehead, like... I don't know. It's just not working for me right now. I don't know if it's just because I'm too light right now. So maybe when I get out in the sun more, once it becomes, um, when the weather permits, you know, basically in the summer, um, maybe the bronzer will work for me. Or it's not a bronzer, it's contour, but I'm trying to use it as bronzer. Maybe it'll work when I'm a little bit more tan or something. I'm going to keep working on these three things right here, which is super exciting. So I got less than a month to make sure that I get them done. And I've been putting this in my pocket, in my purse. And just throughout the day, I'll come in here and I'll just apply lipstick, even if I'm not going anywhere, even if I don't have makeup on or anything. Um, just, you know, to like use it, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, that is it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's real quick and sweet and, um, be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up. Have a blessed day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Today's video, blah, blah, blah. Why do I keep going blank? Why do I keep, Ugh. Okay, one more time, one more time. Third time's charm.